Hi and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss how do I solve for n and tn once we have the equation. Now if you look at our previous video, we had discussed how to get the equation and we had ended up with the following equation. tn is equal to 1n squared plus 5n plus 6. Now when you are answering the questions, you must be able to distinguish between tn and n. When they are talking of the number that it is standing in the pattern, then that is n. But when they are asking for the value, then that is tn. Calculate the value of the tenth term. Now look at what they are giving you. They are telling you the term that is 10th in position, which means they are saying n is equal to 10. Once you can clarify between tn and n, then you simply substitute into the formula. So I have tn is equal to 1 into 10 squared plus 5 into 10 plus 6, which is equal to 156. So the value of term 10 is equal to 156. Now look at how we change the question. Calculate which term is equal to 182. Now what are they giving me? You have to calculate n. Therefore, they are giving me tn. They are telling me tn is equal to 182. In the second difference, when you are asked to calculate n, it is always a trinomial. You are going to end up solving a trinomial. So in order to do this section, you have to be familiar with the section of solving for unknowns. You have to know how to solve for unknowns using different methods because this section always ends up with solving for an unknown. Right. If we go to the formula, we would have tn is equal to 1n squared plus 5n plus 6. We know that tn is equal to 182. So I have 182 is equal to n squared plus 5n plus 6. If we have to solve for an unknown, we know that it is a quadratic because it's to the power of 2, which means that we have to make it equal to 0. I'm going to take over the 182. So I've got n squared plus 5n plus 6 minus 182, giving us n squared plus 5n minus 176. If you have to factorize, you've got n plus 16 and n minus 11 is equal to 0. Now to solve for this, you have to know you're solving for x. You can use the formula, you can use quadratic equations, you can use different methods, but you must be able to do this. If you are not familiar with how I got from this level to this level, then you have to go to our previous videos under solving for unknowns and learn those sections before attempting this question. Once we solve, we have n is equal to negative 16 and n is equal to 11. Now both of them cannot be correct. In number patterns, the n is a natural number, which means it cannot be a negative neither can it be a zero. Therefore, when they have n is equal to minus 16, that answer is not accepted. The only answer that is accepted is that n is equal to 11. Thank you for watching. 